Hello people, in this video we want to understand carpal tunnel syndrome. So carpals means you know your hand, uh, the bones, you have here some carpals, right? These are the carpals, scaphoid, lunate, hamate, so many carpal bones you have, right? So somewhere there, there the tunnel, this part of it, there is some pain syndrome. So that is carpal tunnel syndrome. So here, what you see here, these bones, above that there is one sheath or whatever you can say. This is a flexor retinaculum. Okay. And below that you can see here there is the nerve. Which nerve is that? Can you see here? In yellow they have marked a median nerve. So under this flexor retinaculum which they have shown here, under the flexor retinaculum, here you have, they have shown the median nerve here. Right? Flexor retinaculum, median nerve. So what will happen <clears throat> for whatever reason this, uh, this is a tunnel kind of a thing, right? Uh, this, if there is compression, then the median nerve will get compressed and that time there will be tingling, numbling sens num sensation of the finger, especially at night, okay. So that is the carpal tunnel syndrome. What else is there here? So many tendons are there, right, between these bones and this flexor retinaculum. So compression of the median nerve as it passes below the flexor retinaculum, so that is carpal tunnel syndrome. So when and all can this happen if there is some space occupying lesion. So if there is some lesion here, space occupying lesion, let's put it in red. So probably there is some space occupying lesion here. So there will be compression of the scarpal tunnel, right? So what are the causes of this, uh, if you look at, this, uh, these are the causes according to the textbook. So let, let's look at the causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. So most common is idiopathic, they don't know why. So that is the most common. Then it can be rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, that is autoimmune. Then there can be osteoarthritis, okay, of the wrist, osteoarthritis, again inflammatory cause. Then trauma, if you have Smith's fracture, then there can be uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. If you have Cole's fracture and later on, there can be bone thickening which can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Then endocrine causes like myxedema acromegaly. Acromegaly was there um, uh, growth hormone after the closure, closure of the epiphysis, right? That time, uh, all the organs will enlarge, right? That is acromegaly. Almost everything in the body will become large, acromegaly. Myxedema is something like hypothyroidism. So, they will complain of what? They will complain of, the person will complain of tingling, numbness and discomfort in the thumb, okay? In the thumb. This one is affected. Me, uh, radial one and half finger. Okay, radial one and a half finger. One and a half finger. Okay, this is the median nerve distribution. So, if you look at this, according to this, radial nerve, median nerve. So, mostly we should talk about median nerve, right? Because we are talking about median nerve compression. So, the thumb the radial one and a half finger in the median nerve distribution they are talking about. Okay. And especially this tingling will be prominent during sleep. So how will you treat this? You will have to just treat the cause. Right. Treat the cause. Okay. Or you can divide this flexor retinaculum and decompress the nerve. Okay. If they ask you for more marks then tell how this flexor retinaculum is attached. Okay. So it is attached, it's a fibrous band, it is attached on one side to the, medially it is attached, medially it is attached to the PC form and hook of hamate, okay, hook of hamate, they are shown hamate here, it is attached to the PC form and the hook of hamate and laterally it is attached to the scaphoid and the crest of the trapezium, okay, so are you understanding? how the flexor retinaculum is attached, this side hamate, hook of hamate and pisiform, here scaphoid and trapezium, okay, scaphoid and trapezium, tubercle of scaphoid, crest of trapezium, so this is how the flexor retinaculum is attached, flexor retinaculum is attached like this, under that you have to show the median nerve, okay. 
what are the contents of carpal tunnel if they ask you let's see this here we have written it contents of carpal tunnel please there is one nerve that is the median nerve that everybody knows there are three tendons three tendons are flexor digitorum superficialis tendon flexor digitorum profundus tendon flexor pollicis longus tendon okay can you remember this flexors all flexor tendons are there okay pollicis is for what thumb digitorum is for fingers isn't it superficialis profundus and pollicis longus okay if you can remember you can remember the contents of carpal tunnel so this is all about carpal tunnel syndrome bye bye